guys, I'm back with another video today. And today this is called the get to know me tag, getting to know me tag. This tag was created by Sean over at Hearth and Soul. And I will have the link down in my description box to Sean so that you guys check out his video and check out his channel. He does some amazing and wonderful uh, candle reviews. So if you're into candles like Bath and Body Works, uh, I think the Yankees candles, then check out his channel. He'll give you some good reviews. But let's go ahead and get started with this tag. There are 20 questions. So I better go ahead and get started. Okay, number one. Have you ever been in love? Well, of course, I've been married for almost 20 years, so I'm still in love. Number two. What is your favorite color? My favorite color, I have two, pink and red. I love those colors, so pretty. Number three, your favorite food. Mmm, um, and I don't eat this food anymore, but I would have to say Mexican food. I love Mexican food, and also, um, it's another favorite of mine, soul food. I love soul food. Yum, yum. Uh, let's see. Oh gosh, number five, your favorite curse word. Well, I don't curse, so I don't have a favorite cuss word, okay? None of the words are good, so I wouldn't say I have a favorite of either one of them. Number six, your favorite holiday. Christmas, oh, I love Christmas. Everything Christmas, it's just so happy, so cheerful, just, I just love it. The, the spirit of Christmas is just wonderful. So, Christmas, your favorite ice cream flavor. Ah, oh, mmm, funny you ask that. Um, I love butter pecan, that's my number one favorite. I do like chocolate. Um, I see butter pecan, chocolate. Um, I think those two would be the number one favorite. Oh, another one, strawberry, strawberry ice cream. That's good too. Love it, love it, love it. Number eight, what do you do for work or field of study? I'm a stay at home mom, so that's what I do. Take care of the household. Number nine, do you have any pet peeves? Yes, I do. Uh, I'm just gonna say one. I cannot stand the beeping sound of the microwave. Oh, you know how it comes to three, two, one, it goes beep, 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 ooh. I try to run, to, I literally try to run to that microwave to open the door before it you know, gets to, to zero. But sometimes I can't make it, but I, I absolutely hate uh, the sound of that. So annoying but that's the only one I can think of right now but I know I have lots more pet peeves number 10 the hardest drug you've ever taken Ooh. <laughs> um, well I don't do drugs I don't do illegal drugs um, if that question is talking about that but as far as drugs that you know we take when we need it um, I would have to say the hardest one was morphine uh, yeah oh and there's another one that I don't know the name of the medicine but there was something really really strong um, that I had to take when I was in high school I had developed pre pneumonia and I asked the doctor, I said, is there something you can give me strong enough to take the sick feeling out of my stomach so that I can attend my, um, my prom? So he gave me something super duper duper strong. And the reason why I know it was strong because it did take away the symptoms temporarily. And when my mother was getting the uh, prescription filled, the pharmacist said to her, he said, wow, your daughter must be really, really sick. And she said, why? And he said, because this is a very, very powerful medication. So, I, and I don't even remember the name of it. I wouldn't know anyway. It's been a long time. <laughs> okay, moving right along. Your zodiac sign. 
well, I don't believe in zodiac signs, but because I was born in February, technically what society says is um, the zodiac sign for February would be Pisces. So I don't believe in that, but anyway, they say Pisces, so Pisces it is. Okay, number 12, your favorite songs. I have many of them, but I'm just gonna name one of them. Um, this is, gosh, if we'd be here all day if i tell you all of them. My number one favorite song is Hallelujah. The song Hallelujah, the way it goes. It's so soothing, it's, it, it just ministers to you. It just makes you feel so good. So that's it. Number 13, your favorite movies. Woo, The Passion of Christ. Oh, I love that movie. The one where, um, what's his name, directed it. Oh, gosh. I can't think of that guy's name right now. It was at the tip of my tongue. Um, I can see his face, but I can't think of his name. The Passion of Christ. The next one is A Christmas Blessing and The Titanic. Those are three of my favorite. I have lots more, but those are the ones that I'm going to share today. Uh, Pas oh, Mel Gibson. That's the one who directed The Passions of Christ, and I thought he did a phenomenal job. Excellent. Okay, number 14. What is your most embarrassing moment? Ooh, boy. I told you one of them in one of my previous tags, but I'll tell you a different one. I was in um, uh, junior high school, and this was one particular day. I was in the classroom, and my menstrual cycle started. I mean, it wasn't my first time having it, but I stood up from my seat to go to the teacher, and all of a sudden, it was blood all on the seat, and I'm like, oh gosh, I said, oh, I must have sat in some paint. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. My teacher knew what would happen. I don't know why I said that. I must have sat in some paint. <laughs> I don't know, but I was terribly embarrassed. Oh my gosh. My friends were looking at it, and I guess some of them knew, but I was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? So my teacher helped me. Oh gosh, that was very embarrassing, you guys. It really was. <laughs> Woo, I can't believe I just told you guys that. <laughs> Number 15, what is your proudest accomplishment? Oh man. One, that I graduated from high school. And the reason why I mention high school is because I almost did not graduate. Yeah, so I'm very proud of myself for doing that. The second thing, my most accomplishment is that um, um, me running the marathon and accomplishing it two times. The LA Marathon, 26.2 miles I ran. And I ran it approximately around six hours, guys. So that was that was probably the most hardest one right there. I have many others, but those are the two that I want to share with you today. But yeah, that was it. Very proud of myself. Number 16. Oh, your worst trait or traits. Now, my son had to help me out with these. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I lash out sometimes uh, at situations, uh, and I need to work on that. This, this is just an area of weakness that I need to work on. I lash out, not good. Uh, I'm not gonna go too deep into it because I don't, you know, I don't feel that good about it. But it's just something that I'm working on. This constant struggle. I'm too touchy sometimes in certain situations. Not every time a person talks to me, but at times, especially with family. Um, I can't stand lateness. Ugh. We gotta leave out the house at a certain time and the person is just late, late, late and ooh, it's just driving me up a wall. I feel like climbing the walls, you know? <laughs> I can't stand lateness. If we have to be somewhere at nine o'clock, I'm the kind of person, I'm there at least five minutes early or right on the dot. I mean, right on that dot you hear me and if I'm late then you know something unusual happened because Liz is never hardly ever late if I am it's because someone else is with me and they prolong okay 
Number 17, your best qualities. Well, I just named one of them. Um, being on time is one of my best qualities, I feel. Um, I feel like I'm a very loyal person. And also, I am a very determined person. When I set my mind to do something, I don't let anything or anyone or any situation, circumstance get in my way. I just go full force. And I mean, I'll just keep doing it until I accomplish it. So, yeah. Number 18, your favorite generation, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, or the 2000s. Uh, well, I don't really have a favorite one, but since I have to choose, I would probably choose, um, I'll choose the 80s, because uh, my daughter was born in the 80s, and um, the 2000, not too much of what's going on in the 2000s, but 2003 in particular, because my son was born, so I'll choose those. But I do like some things from the 90s as well. There were some nice, wonderful times and also the 70s too. So I'm, I'm gonna say a little bit of all of them except not too much of the 2000s except for my son being born. But I love the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s. Those would be my favorites. Okay, number 19, do you believe in God or a higher power? I do believe in God, yes I do. I don't believe in a higher power, but I do believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right, amen on that. <laughs> and final question number 20, what in your life has given you the greatest joy? Oh boy, I love this question. This, this is my favorite question. Giving birth to my two babies, um, my daughter graduating from college and getting her degree in psychology. Um, there's more, but those are the ones that I'm going to share with you today. But yes, yes. Well, she got her degree in psychology and she's still going forward. Um, I think she wants to get her master's degree as well as maybe her doctorate degree. So I'm just so proud of her. Yay! And soon, next year, my son will be in, um, he'll be a senior, so he'll be graduating, and that'll be another accomplishment. I can't wait. I'm so excited. But anyway, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed watching and listening to this tag, and I'm just going to tag you, you, you. Whoever wants to do this tag, you guys, just jump in. I will have the questions down in my description box, so just go ahead. Feel free, copy and paste them, and let me know that you decided, you know, to do the tag, and I will check out your video. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please click on that subscribe button if you have not already joined the family of Jazzy Green Decor Style. I would love to have you. Welcome. Thank you so much. And to all my returning family members, thank you so much for tuning in again. I, you know, I appreciate all your love and support. You guys watching my videos, commenting, giving me big thumbs up. Thank you so much. And thank you, Sean, for doing this tag, creating this tag, however you did it. I, I like this tag. Uh, there's a few questions that are uh, not really my type of questions to answer, but for the most part, it was a nice tag with some nice questions. So thank you. All right, guys, take care, be blessed, and I will see you next time in my next video. Bye. Okay, this is part two, you guys. I forgot there were some other questions where you have to pick either or, so I didn't do it. So let me go ahead and do those real quick. And of course, I took off my hat, so that's okay. But anyway, number one, you have to pick one or the other. Cats or dogs? I choose cats. I mean, no, dogs. Dogs, not cats. Ketchup or mustard? Mustard. Miracle Whip or mayonnaise, Miracle Whip. Chocolate or vanilla, chocolate. Apple or Android, Apple. Gotta put my glasses on for this one, I can't read it. <laughs> Morning or evening person, evening person. Boxers or briefs. Well, with me being a female, I'm gonna choose panties. <laughs> I don't wear boxers or briefs. <laughs> 
Um, I'm pretty sure that was for a man, I'm assuming. Movies or TV? Uh, movies or TV? TV? Movies, I like movies. Democrat or Republican? I choose not to answer that one. No comment. And the last one, the ocean or the lake? I choose lake. So that's all.